Hi, I'm Mr. Lustig, and as you can see, I'm a stick. I'm no walking stick, thank you very much. Now, for the life of me, I don't get why you humans do this. Of course, this has more to do with the fact that this is what happens when I try to run. Ah! Ow. No one cares about how bad you are at sports stick. They just want to know how to cheat. Well, that's easy. You just use better gear. Stick, are you crazy? Do you want to get people hurt? Um, what's wrong with getting a new pair of vapor flies? And how is that cheating? I'm glad you asked. I'm already regretting it. History time. In October 2019, Elliot ran a sub two hour marathon, which would have been considered a record, but he used pace setters and the Alpha Fly shoes from Nike. The shoe that broke running, according to Dr. Ross Tucker. How can you break running? Simple. You use these shoes. Not. Open. So Nike put a super hard carbon fiber plate with some very squishy wishy special foam in the midsoles. Those look surprisingly similar to springs. Well, that's because they do something similar. They store energy and then they release it. So you recover more of the energy that you used while running. Is that cheating? Probably. Just look at Wile E. Coyote. But who really cares? Why so serious? Vroom Vroom Land has been using tech to get a leg up their competition for years, right? If people could put spoilers on their butts to make them faster, you bet they would. So what's the deal though? The idea of a fair competition is that the best man, woman, whatever wins, not the best equipped man, woman, whatever. That's why there are rules. This is why some performance tech gets neutered. Snip snip! For fairness. Ah, commissions. Ruining innovation since sports began. See, when a company that makes shoes or vroom vrooms makes a technical innovation so good that they have to patent the sh out of it, commissions step in and go snip snip by adding new rules so that the other companies can catch up. This gives athletes that don't use said companies soon to be nerfed tech a fighting chance. Is that good? Yes, for competitions, where no one should have a built-in advantage. But with all these constraints, it gets harder to make something better and say I did a thing! This hasn't stopped humans from trying, just so they can teabag their competition. Seriously, there's no other reason for innovation. Deep down in the mind of every inventor or great thinker, they just want to say Mine are bigger than yours. Can you imagine Einstein saying to Niels Bohr My theory is bigger than yours, yeah? You know, general relativity and quantum mechanics. You just can't help yourself, can you? Nope! I'm nerdy and I know it. So we just get rid of commissions and let innovation flourish, right? Well, in bodybuilding... They don't have screensavers. In bodybuilding, they've pretty much done this. I mean, these guys don't take steroids, they take cocktails of steroids. Wanna well, guess why famous bodybuilders keep dying in their 40s? Commissions are also there to protect athletes from themselves. Take Goldman's dilemma. Regardless of actual numbers or whether they're accurate or not, there is still a non-zero percentage of people who would take drugs or cheat to win. Guess who's going to be at the top more often than not? So whose fault is it anyway for this? Yours. Yep, yours. Who would you rather watch on stage? Natural Vince or Terminator Arnie? Don't you prefer the Terminator too? Yes, I do. I never said I'm not part of the problem, you know. We all want bigger, better, stronger, faster. But there's also the problem of being too good. I mean, would anyone watch a competition between Vince and Conan the Barbarian? No, no need. This is where commissions come in. By making things more equal-ish, they make it more exciting too. And regarding innovation, well, diamonds are made under extreme pressure, you know? So maybe we're just fine. In the end, does my opinion really matter? No. No, it doesn't. Well, there you have it. Which leaves me with only one question. And one question only. Explosions! And if you liked this video, just give it a thumbs down. No one but me will know.